Published, 2022 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 25th of March 2018, updated, 426 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 26th of March 2018 Jewish leaders have accused Jeremy Corbyn of being hostile towards the Jewish community despite the Labour leader apologizing for pockets of anti-Semitism in the party, the Board of Deputies and the Jewish Leadership Council today said Mr. Corbyn sees their community as a hostile entity and holds conspiratorial views about them. The two senior Jewish groups are planning a protest against him in London's Parliament Square, where they will hand him a letter accusing him of siding with anti-Semites time and time again, reports the Daily Telegraph. Last night Mr. Corbyn said he is sincerely sorry for the pain which has been caused by anti-Semitism that has occurred in pockets within the Labour Party, he has been repeatedly criticised for failing to deal with the issue within the party and for not condemning a controversial mural that was removed in London over anti-Semitism claims, the Board of Deputies and the Jewish Leadership Council today said Mr. Corbyn pictured sees the Jewish community as a hostile entity and holds conspiratorial views about them he has now said that he is Mr. Corbyn said, Labour is an anti-racist party and I utterly condemn anti-Semitism, which is why as leader of the Labour Party I want to be clear that I will not tolerate any form of anti-Semitism that exists in and around our movement, we must stamp this out from our party and movement. We recognize that anti-Semitism has occurred in pockets within the Labour Party, causing pain and hurt to our Jewish community in the Labour Party and the rest of the country. I am sincerely sorry for the pain which has been caused. He went on to say that his party has deep roots in the Jewish community and will campaign to increase confidence in labor among the community, Mr. Corbyn added, Our party has deep roots in the Jewish community and is actively engaged with Jewish organizations across the country. We are campaigning to increase support and confidence in labor among Jewish people in the UK. I know that to do so, we must demonstrate our total commitment to excising pockets of anti-Semitism that exist in and around our party. I will be meeting representatives from the Jewish community over the coming days, weeks and months to rebuild that confidence in labor as a party which gives effect voice to Jewish concerns and is implacably opposed to anti-Semitism in all its forms, Labour will work to unite communities to achieve social justice in our society, Tom Watson, pictured yesterday, said the anti-Semitic mural Jeremy Corbyn defended was horrible, but defended the leader's handling of the row his comments come after Deputy Leader Tom Watson earlier described the mural in question as horrible, before defending the leader's handling of the row, Mr. Corbyn has faced a barrage of criticism for criticizing the decision to remove the painting, which depicts a group of hook-nosed men around a Monopoly board. He has admitted the painting is offensive and insisted he did not see it properly when he leapt to its defense on Facebook. Mr. Watson, Labour's deputy leader, was confronted with the offensive image live on the BBC's Andrew Marr show yesterday. He said the painting was clearly anti-Semitic offensive, but defended Mr. Corbyn's handling of the row, saying he has apologized. Meanwhile, the Board of Deputies, Britain's leading Jewish group, is holding a protest outside Parliament tomorrow to voice their anger at Mr. Corbyn over anti-Semitism. The Enough is Enough protest has been timed to coincide with the meeting of the Parliamentary Labour Party, where Mr. Corbyn is expected to be met with anger over the mural if he turns up. Britain's leading Jewish group is mounting a protest tomorrow over anti-Semitism in the Labour Party. The Board of Deputies are urging supporters to go to Parliament Square for the Enough is Enough protest. It has been timed to coincide with the meeting of the Parliamentary Labour Party, where Jeremy Corbyn is expected to be met with anger over the mural if he turns up. In a post online, the board said, Day in day out we the Jewish community face increasing anti-Semitism. Enough is enough, the leadership of the Jewish community will be delivering a letter to the Parliamentary Labour Party in advance of its meeting at 6 p.m. We call on members of our community and all those who oppose anti-Semitism to join us in Parliament Square at 5.30 p.m. to show solidarity, Mr. Watson said. My reaction is that was a horrible and anti-Semitic mural that was rightly taken down. You are showing it to me on a 32-inch screen on national TV and I've seen it over a 1,000 times on Twitter. That is very different from seeing it on Facebook on the move. Andrew Marchand challenged the Labour frontbencher saying you don't need glasses to sport that the painting is clearly offensive, but Mr. Watson continued to try to defend his party boss, saying, that is why Jeremy has expressed regret and apologized for that, and say it was right the mural was taken down. The Labour leader has expressed regret that he did not look more closely at the work by artist Kaylin Ackerman. When Mr. Ackerman complained on Facebook in 2012 that the mural was to be removed, Mr. Corbyn replied, why? You are in good company. Rockefeller destroyed Diego Vieira's mural because it includes a picture of Lenin. Many Labour MPs including Chuka Yuman and Luciana Berger have hit out at Mr. Corbyn over defending the image.
Mr. Watson said that, rather than focus on Mr. Corbyn the Rose should prompt Labour to work harder to root out anti-Semitism. He has now admitted the painting, pictured here, is offensive and insisted he did not see it properly when he leapt to its defense on Facebook he said, it is anti-Semitic and horrible, he added, I'm very very sorry that people feel hurt by this, Labour has been dogged by anti-Semitism rose ever since Mr. Corbyn was elected leader in 2015, he has recently been exposed for being a member of a Facebook group where anti-Semitic material was posted and his close ally Ken Livingstone is suspended from the party after saying that Adolf Hitler supported Zionism by backing the deportation of Jews in the 1930s to Israel.